So what am I going to be reporting on in this video today? Sally Corporation, a dart rides manufacturer, have released concept art for two brand new dart ride concepts themed around two IPs from animation studio Ardman Animations. <laughs> Hello there guys, my name is Coach Chai YouTube channel Doncaster Born, but built for theme park news and welcome to a theme park news and update from Sally Corporation Dart Rides. Now this is a bit of industry news, kind of said that I deleted that industry news playlist a while back, months back, uh, but yeah this is a theme park newsroom so you can only find this video uh, in the theme park newsroom playlist, the 2019 theme park newsroom playlist, this is one of those exclusive videos. Um, and yes, Sally Corporation, now they are a dart rides manufacturer, they've created many fantastic dart rides all around the world. Justice League Battle for Metropolis dart rides, they were responsible for them. Um, just, just loads of dart rides, I'm sure that there's loads more I can count on one, on, on not on... I, I won't be able to count more than enough on two hands. It's just fantastic dark rides manufacturer. And they've and they've revealed some concept art uh, for some brand new dark ride concepts in pro, in partnership with Arm Animations. Now, back in 2018, they revealed their first Shaun the Sheep dark ride concept. Uh, and now they've revealed another Shaun the Sheep dark ride concept, as well as another dark ride themed around the latest Arman Animation IP film, uh, which is the brand new one, Adventures Through Time. Uh, so we've got a Shaun the Sheep Farmageddon Dark Ride and an Adventures Through Time Dark Ride concept. So let's have a look and sort of describe to you all about these concepts. So let's start off then with Adventures Through Time. Now Adventures Through Time is the brand new film for Arman Animations, uh, or the latest IP film for Arman Anim Animations, and basically, it's based on that film, and it's designed. Th and the design-themed ride is a mischievous heroine in the corner of a museum, discovering a mysterious finger tap that she and her fellow passengers travel on in a journey through time. As soon as she puts her finger in the golden relic, she suddenly finds she suddenly finds herself in the ancient world of the Egyptian th pharaohs on the pirate-ridden 19th-century East China Sea and Cretaceous. Only their courage brings them back to their family at the end. Their guests accompany them through the theme trip. So that's all about the uh, adventure through time. Now I'm going to be sharing my thoughts on both of them separately after I've read all the statistics. So let's go on to the second one. Shaun the Sheep movie Farmageddon. So this is the second concept, also developed together with Arman Animations, which owns the rights to the brand. So the theme drive was conceived on the basis of the new film of the same name, which will be published later this year and leads into a vastness of space. Uh, big good luck to uh, Joe Sugg, another YouTuber who's going to be voicing the pizza boy, we believe, in the film. So big good luck to Joe Sugg from all of us in the YouTube community. Uh, passengers get acquainted with alien Lula, who lands near Mossy Bottom Farm, as in the film. Uh, Sean helps him find his way back home, embarking on a galactic adventure that can be experienced while driving. So, Armand's and Gaio Harding Hill commented on the concept, saying, With the introduction of our latest IP, we have the opportunity to introduce Armand's potential to attraction partners. From our award-winning characters like Sean the Sheep and Wallace and Gromit to brand new IPs with Nick Park's own characters, um, the possibilities of working with Sally Corporation to create unique and creative dark ride experiences are limitless. As we approach the talented people at our man, we found the two uh, companies could bring much more to the table through collaboration, said marketing director Lauren Ward from Sally Corporation. She then went on to say, with our experience in turking dark ride solutions and the amazing stories and animation capabilities of Ardman Animations, we can truly create some themed magic for any part looking for a fun family attraction. So that basically um, was all about what uh, was said about the uh, new concepts. Like I said, I just shared some concept art on your screen from both uh, ride concepts. There's only one. Uh, for the Shaun the Sheep one, but there's a couple from Adventures Through Time. And my god, don't it look fantastic? It looks to me it's going to be a trackless start ride, but again, I could be wrong, it could be a track ride. Um, the, you know, most, if not nearly all of Sally Corporation's dark rides, if not all of them, you know, they're mostly or all of them are tracked rides. So I would like to see Sally Corporation go more into the trackless market, maybe, uh, if they haven't done already. And I'd like to see more trackless dark rides. So maybe that could be the move they're going with. 
Uh, now, the original Shaun the Sheep ride, the first one from 2018 that was released, uh, that we had a look at, um, well, all of us enthusiasts had a look at when it was released, um, we sort of knew that was going to be a bit of a tracked ride, but again, I'd like to see them move into the trackless ride, especially with the uh, Shaun the Sheep movie Farmageddon ride, because of that, that one's very uh, galactic and sort of new generation and next step and stuff like that. So I'd like to see them move into that next step with a trackless system rather than a tracked dark ride system. Adventures Through Time, again, I think that a trackless dark ride system and some effect can really bring the riders closer to the action. Uh, now, in terms of projecting scenes, I'm expecting animatronics, I'm expecting possible uh, projections and holograms. I'm not expecting anything 3D or 4D. No way am I expecting that or anything to do with VR. Get rid. Uh, <laughs> you guys know my thoughts on VR on rides. It's just awful. Just a one-trick pony, that one. Um... But I want to see projections, I want to see animatronics, I want to see some effects, I want to see some fantastic stuff. And I know Sally Corporation are going to do that, but where will this go? Now, I'm going to take a very wild guess here. Now, I'm going to talk about a park that's recently looking to put in a petting zoo in their sort of barnyard area that they created with the new Express, Express Coaster. Um, if they had the money, I think they could add this as a family attraction. Pleasurewood Hills. Now, again, that could be completely false. Maybe Alton Towers could look at investing in one. I mean, you know, if, if we see some work done to that theatre space and sort of do a bigger building in that Twilling Toadstool site and use the theatre as an entrance to the building, sort of create a new building next to the dungeon, um, you know, could we see a Shaun the Sheep Dark ride in that site? I mean, it's not impossible, but... Very unlikely, otherwise we would have seen construction work on a new building by now, but I could be wrong, could be wrong. Uh, but I think if they were to go with an IP like Armand Animations for Alton Towers, I'd like to see a Shaun the Sheep dart ride there, because I think it'd be a really cool addition. Uh, I think if Shaun the Sheep was uh, brought, like projected into CBeebies, or if it was being broadcast on CBeebies, as like a new mini-series with Shaun the Sheep, I knew they had a... I remember when I was a kid, there was like a, a little mini series with the the baby sheep Timmy. It was called Timmy Time or something. Um, you know, are they going to look at doing another Shaun the Sheep Dark Ride with just Timmy theme? And maybe that's the CBB's Dark Ride that we've been waiting for on that Spinball site in the future to expand CBB's line into Adventureland. Again, we don't know. Is Thought Park going to continue their family investments and put this dart ride into the Angry Birds 4D Experience site and a few buildings next to it and combine it into one big dart ride building? I don't think dart rides would be the best option for Thought. Look at Darren Bell's Ghost Train and how well the success that turned out to many people's eyes. It's a good ride in my opinion, but I just don't personally feel like um, it's right up there with what they could have done. Uh, if you want to hear my thoughts, some more thoughts on Darren Bell's Ghost Train, Check out the video we released earlier today from the top five currently existing dark rides and you'll see why it's number five in my list. Uh, <laughs> but overall, just to summarise this video, I think Sally Corporation have done themselves justice, they've done fantastic. Big shout out to everyone at Armand Animations, you're all fantastic, you all do such brilliant animation. You stick to the classic route of hand animation, you make the models, you make it's all it's all hand moved, it's all classic animation style, they've stuck with the basics and it's still become a box office hit. So big shout out to everyone at Arban Animations and Sally Corporation, the Dark Ride manufacturer, for all the work they do. These two dark rides look amazing. Um, the first Shaun the Sheep Dark Ride from 2018 looked amazing. If you haven't seen the concept of that, go and look on the internet for some concepts for the first Shaun the Sheep Dark Ride from Sally Corporation. They look brilliant. And then these two came out recently and it was just like wow. Look at the potential here, and look. And there's some there's some parks out there, some family parks that I think would invest in their left foot for one of these dark rides. I'm not even overreacting. So, big shout out to everyone involved in these dark rides, and yeah, let's hope the parks buy them very very soon. So, thank you very much for watching this theme park news from update from Sally Corporation dark rides and Arm and Animations on their Shaun the Sheep and Adventures Through Time dark ride concepts. Make sure you like the video. Comment your thoughts down below. I want to hear your thoughts. What parks do you think are going to get these dark rides? Subscribe to Coaster Chat and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. And for now, guys, keep living the coaster life, and I'll see you guys in the next video soon. Take care. Have an awesome day, my friends.